Okay, to start this process, remember, we're going to open a web browser into flylitchy.com slash hub. And as soon as that comes up, we want to make sure we're logged in in the upper right. You can display map or satellite. Here it's showing my general area, and I'm scrolling in and out to zoom in and out. I'm going to find a spot near my house so I can basically log in. We'll go to Settings, set it to Imperial, Auto Return to Home, and we're going to set uh, default gimbal pitch to focus point of interest. And we'll just call that closed. Okay, that's in the settings. Now, uh, if you just click and hold your, if you just click your left mouse button, you'll start creating waypoints. And you can click and hold the map and it'll move. But if you just click your left mouse button, it'll start putting these waypoints on the map. And we won't worry about all the settings and the waypoints or anything like that. I'm just going to create a quickie little mission right around the local Safeway store. I'm going to go down and, and save this. Okay, I'm just threw, threw a few points together, nothing too fancy right now. We'll come up with a name for it. We'll call it Test 1. And we'll hit say, oops, uh, I have already created one called Test 1. We'll call it Test 1, 2. We'll save it. So now it's saved. We're going to export it as VLM. You should have already installed Google Earth Pro. It's free. But once you install that <clears throat> and you save this as a KML file, it'll automatically come up in Google Earth Pro. So this is Google Earth Pro that you're looking at. It's showing the mission. It's showing the flight path. It's showing the waypoints on there. I can scroll around and look at it. I can zoom in on it see all the waypoints of the mission. And if you look in the area, uh, the menu to the upper right, it shows this um, test one, two. And basically, if I hit the arrow, I can see not only the actual um, uh, virtual mission, but also what they call diagnostics. Uh, and I can choose to display or hide those diagnostics. So. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to hide all the diagnostics so we only see the map. I'll hit the last one here, which is a flight path. Okay, now that's all gone, and I'm just going to double-click on the virtual mission. So now you'll see it running, and it's running it in Google Earth Pro. Um, I can speed it up a little bit by hitting that fast-forward button, so I don't have to look at it in real time. I just want to get a sense, what's this mission going to look like? Okay. So it shows me going down the street and then coming to this intersection and swinging around this Safeway store that's down at the edge of the street. Okay, a swinging back. Uh, it's heading back towards my house where it launched. Uh, swinging back around and uh, it's basically just gonna stop uh, at the beginning point. Okay, so it stopped there. Now I'm just going to exit out of Google Earth Pro. I don't care about saving this. I'm going back to Mission Hub, the one I had, and I'm just going to make one change. I'm going to right-click my mouse button somewhere down there by that fire station. That creates a point of interest. Now, def by default, if I add one point of interest, all those waypoints are going to look at that point of interest as that bird swings around. So I'm going to resave it as test one, two. Now we'll rerun this mission. It's just to give you a sense of how you can go through the process of creating a mission, going to Google Earth Pro, running the mission, seeing if it's what you like, going back to Mission Hub and tweaking it. So now we're gonna rerun that mission virtually. Same thing, I'll leave, a, I'll leave some of the diagnostics on here this time so you can get a sense of that. So you can see the flight path here, but you'll watch. The bird will actually turn and start facing that point of interest that I dropped. So this time it's changing its view as it's spinning around that um, Safeway store to look at that point of interest that I dropped. So just that one change, every single waypoint along here is telling the bird to focus at that point of interest that I dropped, just that one. Again, highly editable, highly customizable. We're not gonna get into that right now. We're just basically going to um, run the mission, give you a sense for what it looks like, and then we're gonna stop it.
Okay, we'll start litching up from the iPhone now. Turn it on its side. And it may come up in waypoint mode. It may come up in FPV mode. Um, if you put it in FPV mode, you can connect it to your drone. And it will be just like you're flying one of the DJI apps. But we're going to take and put it in waypoint mode. And you see the little folder there. We'll click that. And there'll be all sorts, well, for you, it'll just be one mission. I have all sorts of missions on here. I'll take the one that we just did called Test 1-2, and I'll hit Load. Okay, uh, now the mission is on here. Um, if I'm connected to my drone, I basically just hit Play, uh, but I haven't got it connected. We'll connect it yet, and we'll go fly this quick okay, mission. Okay, now I have my iPhone connected to my controller on my drone. And I've got the Litchi app running and connected to my drone. You'll see that it's connected. And I've got it in FPV mode. If you look at the upper left there, it says FPV. That lets me fly the drone Recording much started. like I would if I were just using the DJI app. So I'm just pushing the drone up in the air with my left stick for now before I basically load the mission. Uh, you could start the mission from the ground, but this is what I prefer to do. I like to get it up in the air before I load the mission. So I've got it hovering. I'm gonna, if you look in the lower right, that shows my phone. I'm going down, I'm in waypoint mode. I've opened the folder. I'm looking for that test one, two. There it is, I've got that mission. I'm gonna go load it and hit start now. So it's uploading the mission to my bird. It's finished. And now I'm gonna hit play and it's gonna run. So now it's running the mission. You can actually see the camera footage. That's the big screen. That's the actual real-time camera footage from my drone as it's running this mission, okay? And I've got it set to cruise at about 20 miles an hour here. You could change that, go faster or slower, but that's what I did for this one. <clears throat> if you look down on the lower right, that's actually a screen capture from my cell phone hooked up to my drone at the time. And you can see the camera view, uh, just like you would out of the real camera. And on the far lower right, you can actually see it's kind of crumpled up the mission, but you, you can swap those around by hitting that screen. So now I can actually see the actual mission. I can scroll in on there and you can see the little eyeball uh, with the arrow and it's showing where uh, the drone is at as it comes around. Notice it's pointing at that point of interest that we made the change to. Now, one thing to just share. Warning, disconnected. Yeah, you heard the warning disconnected, maybe. Um, but what happens is the drone has gone out of line of sight and uh, I've lost connection with this. Now, on uh, some of the DJI Mavics, uh, they will continue the mission even if you lose connectivity. Now, you'll notice on the actual camera, it's still shooting video, but if you look at the video from my phone on the lower right, it's spotty. Okay, that's because I'm not currently connected with my drone. Again, this works for Mavic uh, 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, uh, some of the older Mavics and Phantoms, but this does not work for the Mavic Minis, the Mavic uh, uh, Airs, the Mavic Air 2s or 2Ss. If they lose connectivity, they're going to return to home. So you got to be wary of that. But it's not true of my Mavic 2 Pro. It's I've got it set Morning. to continue the mission. And what you're gonna see now is it's gonna come back around. It's still looking at that point of interest as it swings back around that Safeway store. There, it's reconnected now. And while it's disconnected, it disregards any special settings you've got on points of interest or gimbal position or anything like that. That's why you saw that gimbal swing and that point of interest swing. Once it reconnected, it can go, aha, I've got some settings in there. I'm gonna run. But while it's disconnected, the only thing it pays attention to are the waypoints. It's already got those preloaded in the drone, so it knows that flight path. So it's gonna complete that mission and go back to home, even if it's disconnected. Okay, so I'm back. I'm still looking at that point of interest. The bird is actually flying somewhat sideways now. You can see the map down on the lower right-hand side as it's swinging around. It's getting closer and closer to the home point from where I've launched. It's still looking at that 
point of interest that we created. So it's pretty much doing everything that I wanted to do uh, at the height and speed that I wanted. Um, and it shows you how easy it is uh, to create and tweak and modify a mission. So we're getting ready. We're coming back around to the home point here. Uh, it's getting ready to cross the road. And you can see on the lower right how close it is getting down there. Again, you can see the little icon arrow with the eyeball, kind of a cute little eyeball that they put in there uh, to kind of show you how this works. Uh, and I'll show you how it lands here as we come through here. But it's coming right about to the end and it'll tell me when the mission is done. I'll probably just let the camera continue running here. I've manually started and stopped the camera, although you can have Litchie do that for you. So here it is, it's completed the mission, it's stopped, and I'm gonna tell it to land. I'm gonna tell it to do a return to home. Um, I'm, mission ended. Here, so it, there's, uh, it's ended the mission, and now it's just gonna go through a process to land the drone. I've switched it to FPV mode now, so I'm flying it just like I would any other time. I'm gonna tell it to go home, and it's doing the beeping as it's going home. Uh, it'll relocate just a little bit, a few feet. I'll switch the camera down so you can kind of see it land in the process. Uh, there's my house right below it, me standing out in the driveway. So it's gonna come down. It's gonna land the drone right in my driveway here. I'll spin it around a little bit manually and I'll flip the uh, gimbal up a little bit, point it out the driveway garage door. But that's basically it. So that gives you a sense on this uh, lesson how to create a mission, move it into Google Earth Pro, tweak it, move it back into Google Earth Pro, load the mission, execute it, and run it. That's all for now. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Recording stopped.